Hey, this is Dale with Open Road Outfitters, and I want to talk about the isolating trailer wiring kits that we sell and explain how the isolation feature works. This is important because an isolating kit protects your bike's entire wiring harness from problems that can occur on your trailer or camper. So in part one of this video, I'm going to use some simple circuit diagrams to explain how it works. And in part two, I'll wire up one of these kits on the bench so you can see it in action. All right, here's our starting point. This diagram represents a simple brake light circuit. If you're an electrical engineer, I apologize that this schematic is not 100% accurate, but it's good enough for this purpose. Now, if you're not familiar with wiring schematics, this symbol represents your brake light. This symbol is the brake light switch in the brake lever on your handlebar or the foot switch. This symbol represents the fuse in the fuse panel that protects this circuit. Now, I'm just showing the brake light circuit in this example, but it's important to keep in mind for later that other signal circuits could be wired on the back side of this fuse as well, like I'm showing here. All of these circuits connect to the positive side of your battery and they all have a return to ground which is what this symbol represents. All of these connect to the negative side of your battery whether they connect directly or whether they uh, go to the frame of your bike. Going back to our simple brake circuit, when you squeeze the brake lever, that allows electrons to flow through the wires, through the circuit, through your light, and your light lights up. That's pretty simple. Let's say that you want to add a trailer to your bike and you need to get uh, wiring out from the bike to a plug that you'll connect to the trailer. And that means you need to connect to the brake light circuit, the running light, and uh, the two turn signal circuits. Well, one way to do that is to wire up the trailer's lights directly to the bike and it looks something like this. You have identified the brake light circuit in the wiring harness on your bike and you tap into it and you create a branch circuit. You run a wire off of that to a plug that's going to connect to the trailer. When you close the switch here, you are now seeing a current flow not only through the brake circuit on the bike, but through this branch circuit, which goes through the trailer brake lights. Now, if everything is in proper working order, this can work. But there are a couple of issues with this approach. First of all, the added wire that you are installing, as well as the lights on the trailer, create extra load on the circuits. If these were incandescent bulbs and you were drawing uh, some significant amount of power, that could lead to a voltage drop on the other lights on your bike, which would cause them to dim. Today, newer bikes that have CAN bus are very sensitive to changes in load, and even a small change can be detected by a CAN bus system, which would consider that to be a fault. So even if your trailer lights were otherwise working just fine and not really drawing that much power, it could still be enough to trigger a fault on a CAN bus system. The bigger issue with this is what happens if a problem develops on the trailer. Let's say the trailer sat for a few months and some mice got into the wiring and chewed the insulation off of one of the hot wires and one of the ground uh, wires. If that happens, that could create a, a situation where you've got a short in the wiring. Well, when a trailer is wired up directly to a bike, that means that any fault that develops is going to take out this fuse on the fuse panel. And in that case, that means that your trailer brake lights will not operate and your light on the bike will not operate as well. And if we go back to this example, you can see that taking out this fuse is going to take out the brake lights, the running lights, right and left turn. So it takes out all the signal circuits, anything that's connected to this fuse. How do we avoid that? How do we get around that? How do we avoid CAN bus faults? Well, the best way to do that is to install an isolating circuit. Now, an isolating circuit uh, contains a relay and a relay has two components inside of it. It has this coil or electromagnet and it has a switch. Now in this diagram you'll see that I'm making my connection to the bike wiring harness using the what I'll call the trigger side of this relay. 
I'm connecting to the coil. We'll see why in just a second. The power for the brake lights is on this switch part of the relay, which has its own separate fuse and goes to the power source separately. Here's how this works. When we close the switch for the brake, we get a power flow through the main circuit and the branch. The branch now goes through this coil, which makes it an electromagnet. When that electromagnet energizes, it closes this switch, which completes this circuit and lights this light. That means we are now controlling this switch here with a current here, but these two are not connected electrically. This coil draws a fraction of a watt, and it's enough that it is well under the threshold of all CAN bus systems. So when you connect one of these isolating kits to a bike that has a CAN bus system, you're able to power the trailer lights without creating any kind of load that's going to generate a fault code. The other advantage is that we go back to our fault scenario, and we have a fault develop here, a short in the wiring harness. That's going to take out the fuse that is on the relay circuit, and only the relay circuit. So that means that the trailer brake lights will go out, but the brake light, running light, turn signals, everything on the bike will continue to operate. All right, well that's it for this part of the tutorial, and in the next installment, I'm going to go to the bench and wire up an isolator so you can see it in action. If you like this video, I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel and be sure to stop by openroadoutfitters.com for more info and videos on motorcycle campers, trailers, parts, and accessories. This is Dale for Open Road Outfitters wishing you many happy journeys.